Hey dumb things, it's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. The first thing I want to get into was Jimin quote unquote dating or marrying this American man. I think this is such a cute story and I love it so much. The internet has gone crazy over this. There's also a part on the Fallon show where Jungkook seemed to have been cut out from the show and I wanted to get into what happened and what was going on on the internet due to this. Let's so grab your example and see spilling mug merch and let's jump into the thing. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of anytime new video drops. Any of you that hate or like to be first leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is what happened with Jimin. BTS has been doing press and a lot of press lately. I heard a rumor that Permission to Dance has been nominated for a Grammy and I'm still hearing people say that song was not BTS's best song and they didn't like it, but I really like it. It's very classic pop to me and I personally enjoy it more than Dynamite or Butter. And I'm not just saying that as a BTS fan. If Ed Sheeran put this out himself, I would stream it too. The song has Ed written all over it. And before I got into BTS, I was one of the Shirios. That's Ed's fandom name. Also, it sounds like Whitney's song, A Dance With Somebody, and I love that song. Anywho, I'm glad it might be nominated for a Grammy and possibly win in the upcoming year. But since all this is happening, of course, BTS is getting some spots on the news and they're doing something they don't normally do, which is interviews. They haven't done a Korean interview in such a long time, and we rarely see them on TV as is. This is due to many different reasons, such as mistreatment and what I believe the main reason. They have shows like Run BTS, Fan Cafes, and their literal own TV show in The Soup, all of which I watch and react to with you guys on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, link down below. Shameless promo. So when BTS appeared on a very popular show like Jimmy Fallon or whatever, we armies get so excited, and I'll be talking about that more later. BTS has been on Jimmy Fallon numerous times and has performed and even developed such a fun, cute relationship with them. I believe Jimmy Fallon loves having them on again, and this particular review in them doing FaceTime or video call with Jimin from their studio. Jimmy went around and asked the members questions and rumors that each of them experienced and basically asked them to kind of debunk them and talk about them. Honestly, even being such a big fan, as I already am, I did not know about some of these rumors. Such rumors that J-Hope is the most fashionable. He for sure is fashionable, but I thought it was Taeyong who got that title, to be honest. Asking BTS if they were going to call ARMY Bell instead of ARMY, I didn't know this was a rumor, and I don't know how things like this get leaked. Because if they confirmed it in a previous interview, then it's not a rumor, right? But if it was leaked by staff, then it becomes a rumor. But how did that get out? I'm not sure. Like, I literally have not read that anywhere. Of course, RM answered this one and was like, it's true, but they ultimately decided to go by ARMY and it was a better decision because it sounds so much better. Imagine instead of the ARMY bomb we have now, it's Bells. That's interesting to think about. Jimin was asked about his name and apparently he was going to go by Baby J or Baby G. That even got to the point where it became trending on the tweet star. And no way anyone knew about this that wasn't staff. This had to have been leaked by someone working internally or something like that. I don't know how people knew this. Jimmy called the Hive team to get this info. Jimin talked about how embarrassing that would have been for him and how he liked it better to go by his own real name. I honestly didn't know the K-pop idols were allowed to choose their names, but maybe that is just a big hit thing given their small size at the time. Jimmy then said Jimin doesn't need that name and should instead go by Jimin Fallon. Jimin then said the next time he performs on the show, he will be named Jimin Fallon. I think it's hilarious. Jimmy Fallon continued to say that the only goal of his entire show was just to get Jimin to be named Jimin Fallon and perform as that name. Now, if you know the previous relationship with Jimmy and Jimin, you know they're close with each other and that Jimmy has a weird connection with Jimin. It's not really weird. Some people think it's weird. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I think Jimmy showing this type of affection makes him look so soft and adorable. I just stand him even more now. He naturally was just drawn to the Jiminster and was very touchy to him. I think a lot of Asian men are typically very touchy and affectionate with each other, but American men tend to stray away from that. But the fact that Jimmy is comfortable doing that, I really like that. But this is what people looked at and being like, look, Jimin and Jimmy are married now or dating or whatever, and it's very cute. Obviously, I don't think anyone thinks they're actually dating. But I love when I see male idols give this type of affection to other male idols. It makes me all soft inside. But you only get to do it a few times because all the members are married to me. They're not allowed to cheat on me and have multiple marriage partners. Only I am allowed. And Big Hit has their private helicopter for me and is ready to pick me up, right? Any day now. Now this interview was as fun and as cute as it could be and people were excited as I said earlier that BTS was on the show to begin with. But of course when BTS is on a show there does tend to be some backlash online. Sometimes it's not very big and it's only a few thousand people which can go away relatively quickly. But I think at this point I do want to say I don't understand how TV shows or shows in general don't know what it is that gets armies angry at this point. Or do they know and are just using that to their advantage? 
advantage. So basically, Jimmy Fallon went around and asked everyone questions, but it appeared like Jungkook was the only one who didn't get to talk. I immediately noticed that because Jungkook is my bias wrecker, so I definitely wanted to hear him speak. But more importantly, I think I wanted to hear if he was going to be giving us English or answering in Korean, or specifically what the rumor that he had to address was going to be. This is all within the same clip that I talked about earlier. But when it was Jungkook's turn, it seemed to have cut, and then it went into Jimmy Fallon doing the outro. After the backlash with Louis Vuitton, and then even the backlash when anytime Big Hit forgets a member, I think a lot of people should be more aware that this is a sensitive spot for ARMY, and need to make sure all the members are included. And if not, a big deal will happen. Well, when the clip aired on YouTube, Jungkook became trending online, and people were mad that Jungkook was not talking in the clip, and requested that Jimmy Fallon's team should take the video down and re-upload the clip with Jungkook in it. There were over 800,000 tweets about Cookie. Some were about this issue, a lot of it was about his amazing performance on the show, but probably more now. Some of those posts were requesting action, so people were mad about this. The thing with this is that, how does everyone know? There was even a Jungkook clip for them to re-add, but also RM didn't get a question either, if you didn't know. He spoke on the behalf of BTS to answer the question on whether they were going to call ARMY's bell instead. They never asked RM to address a rumor either, because his rumor would be what? That he's married and has kids? Because that's the biggest one. The other theory I have aside from the fact that they may not have any clips of Jungkook to even repost, is that Jungkook was simply cut because he was last, and TV shows cut things all the time. They get very happy cutting things. This is how the industry works. Pretty much if anything is not as interesting, again we don't know what was said, right? But if it's not as interesting, and they had to cut one person out, they would have chosen his. If it was interesting, you bet they would have kept his part in. Or another theory is that Hyde simply asked for Cookie's part to be out. So it could be any of those, we don't know. There was a lot of tweets basically saying this. Dear Fallon Tonight and Jimmy Fallon, please upload on YouTube the full segment with Jungkook's part that was excluded in the interview that was aired considering this was a rare occasion where they got individual interview on a TV show. It would mean so much to us. People were copy and pasting this. Networks don't make decisions on a whim, and if something as small as taking down a video and reposting, that needs executive decision and could take weeks. Anyone who has ever worked in a corporate office and knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, editing Dave here. So they did actually end up uploading the extended version onto their channel, and that is currently out. That part does actually have Jungkook answering some assumptions about him. This is why personally, if you want to work in entertainment, pick a small company. Small label or even a small production company, you'll have more opportunities to grow, and you'll have more opportunities to showcase your talents. Let me know what you think, let me know what your thoughts are, leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. We have a great time interacting with each other over there, as well as I do send out postcards and photo cards and all that. So if you're interested in all that, check it out. There's a video there on the front page that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That's on the front page and it's free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.